couldn't see. You couldn't see us, but we're all going. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that can't go on forever because we want to meet the guys who made the music. Please welcome Brian May and Roger Taylor from Queen. <laughs> This is absolutely true. Now, I didn't expect to have this sensation at all, but, you know, I think, okay, I'm going to meet a couple of guys from Queen, that's pretty cool. Everybody and then as you came down the thing, I suddenly just went, oh my God, I can see the full faces. Like, oh my God, that's him. That's that was kind of weird. You didn't change a bit, did we? No. <laughs> I was going to tell you, they were on the plane when I was flying up from Sydney today, and I was just too... Like, <sighs> and then finally, to to yeah, I was. Yeah, I was. You're terrible. not supposed to meet your heroes. No. Yeah, so no. I spoke to Roger, it didn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, you haven't changed a bit. I, don't, I just looking at your hair. Oh, really? It's good hair. Mm -hmm. Well, the hair's still there, just about. Now, can the I face is you, gone, but. Gotta yeah. ask you. We want to talk about the musical, but I just—I've been dying to know this. You went to Liza Minnelli and David Guest's wedding, didn't you? I did. <laughs> I, I performed. I performed. How freaky was that? How freaky it was, are they? Um, <laughs> it was great, actually. <laughs> <laughs> they're actually great personal you. friends. No, so they're not. No, they're not, because no, they invited everyone. Oh, is that right? <laughs> oh, That's what Sporty's post I've known Liza quite a long time. I haven't known David very Have long, but um, it was great playing there because it was just a, a succession of unbelievably big stars that I never expected to see in my life, you know, from age of 100 downwards. You know. Do you, you get awestruck? I, I was the youngest there. Do you get awestruck <laughs> when, you meet, when you meet stars? You call them big stars, but to everyone here, you guys are queen, you know? You yeah. wrote Bohemian Rhapsody. You wrote the greatest yeah. song of all time. So do you yeah. guys... I don't, I don't think that I'm a big Glen Campbell fan, but apparently... Oh. But apparently. Oh, I agree. Well, actually, Freddie wrote it, you know, neither of us would take credit yeah. for that. Now, but, well, that's a good a point, bit, though, because you guys are the only band in the world where all the members have written a number one single. Is that true? Apparently so. so. Ben Elton keeps telling us. Yeah. 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 Now, ben Elton, of course, great. sorry to interrupt you there, Trace, but Ben Elton is one of the reasons you're here. Absolutely. Is this and new stage here, show. we wouldn't get a word in his ways. So. Probably not. None of us would. Don't worry. But uh, We Will Rock You, he's written it. Now, what's Robert De Niro got to do with it? Robert is kind of the godfather of the project. We don't see him that often, but when he comes down, he has a lot to say. And um, basically, the, the creative uh, front is Roger, myself, and Ben. Ben is, is a powerhouse of ideas, incredible. And it's thanks to his brilliant script that we're actually on there. Well, how did and you we all will get be together? on in Melbourne. You actually had him. a number of scripts on the table, because Ben yeah. wasn't the first person to come to you with a project, because your songs lend themselves to a very theatrical setting. But he wasn't the first person yeah. to come along with a script. So what turned you on to a guy that said, Righto, it's set in Gar Gar Land. Um, Planet, at what point didn't you go next? Well, we didn't want to do a biography. We didn't oh. really want to see us up there. You know, we wanted to do something more interesting with it. And Ben was sort of English. He understood us and our humour. And, uh, and also, he's a great writer and a very good director. So he, he was, it, we were flattered when he came up with a great idea. How yeah. did he manage to get Bohemian, Rats Bohemian Rhapsody <laughs> into the musical? Well, that's a trick. It's a trick, you yeah. will you will have to wait till oh, you see it. But it's, uh, it's, well, it's a surprise. Yeah. Can we ask you that? We don't know what it means anyway, so this is just sort of <laughs> that's the great thing you see. Yeah, that's the great funny. claim that yeah. you guys haven't worked it out or you won't reveal what it's all about? I've been well, told. Well, I think it's a load of pretentious old bollocks. <laughs> yeah, well, that, you know, that, that's, that's what I keep writing on the wall. But we know keep that, in where did the names Scaramouche and Galileo and all those names come from in the song? Were you on serious drugs when you wrote it? <laughs> so, so we don't take the blame, you know. But oh, it's this, all right. Freddie's dead. Blame yeah, him. Exactly. <laughs> he's great. He's great. Oh, Nobody can ask him what it means, which is wonderful. But they're historical characters, which were kind of woven but, into his little script. There. Now, all your songs, most of your songs, are through the show. Yeah, like Killer Queen, right Absolutely. through. Most of the big hits you'll find in there. Well, I see half of the big hits. Yeah. We've got a sequel got to come. Well, you left out 27, apparently. I mean, that's a lot to leave out. That's right. It right. tells you how many you've had. There's about 85 in there, though, mm -hmm. so we're fine. And yeah. you're out here now <laughs> casting for the Australian... Yeah, we've... Production? Casting. We've yeah. actually cast the, the Oh, we all wanted to be in it. Fantastic. It's been great. So you don't need to hear my version of anything? No, OK. Can I ask you, we're just going to have a look at some footage of Freddie, if we can. I think we have some here. Now, this... I want to know who...